everyone. This is Pino Trovo, San Francisco State Information Design class. We're going to do number four uh, from the um, layout sketch for project number two about uh, the coronavirus. Um, this is going to be the uh, San Francisco County deaths since the beginning of the pandemic, and it's going to be a, a bar chart with a trend line on top for the um, moving average, seven day moving average. And uh, it's pretty much the same as number three, where we did the cases from the same data set. Instead of the, um, instead of the, uh, the deaths, but um, let's see, I'm just going to quickly go again, just for the benefit of those who might be coming here, just out of the blue. Um, and just to say that it was tricky to um, to do the um, to get the data from the uh, straightforward uh, um, file that the New York Times um, provides. Uh, we're trying to replicate data sets, data data visualization that are done in the New York Times, because this file with the county information, San Francisco County is, is one of three thousand counties. Is huge. It's forty three meg megabytes, and it's like more than a million rows. Um, so I could not deal with that in Excel in terms of that file, but I found another file, which was a JSON file, which was this one. And there through some cut and paste um, and cleaning up, I, uh, I figured out, okay, I have to look for cases. Also I have to look for San Francisco. Um, and with some luck, I found it and then I just pretty much copied and paste. And I'm not gonna go through that now, just go back to item number three video, which shows how I took these rows, which are huge, um, and made them into columns by transposing the columns in Excel. Okay, so once I did that, eventually I got into a uh, file that looked Let's see, open with Excel. Uh, once again, make sure you get Excel. Anyway, look like this. Um, I didn't have the dates in that JSON file, but I grabbed the dates from another file. So I, again, I did more cut and paste. Um, and here there are columns, right? So this is about 350 uh, rows. And uh, we're going to do the deaths, which again are cumulative here, meaning each cell adds to the one before, uh, the number is added to the one before. Um, and in Tableau, let's see if it opens up. Um, you can open up, you can get the files. I lost my mouse. What are we? Anyways. Um, so when you connect to it, you can connect to either Microsoft Excel or a text file. So I have it both versions. Um, and I'm not going to actually find use it now because I've already imported it. Um, once again, you want to get my file, my Tableau files, you get the data sets, and then you can find your own as well. Um, so once I imported it, it looked like this. Again, cases, deaths, date, and county. County, we won't use it. Um, and this was the, uh, I remember that I need to, I forgot to label these deaths. Okay, and once again, this is what we were trying to duplicate. Um, this is actually the, uh, cases of the deaths, I think is below. If I remember right. Um, we can do these stepped lines too, um, which shows no change when it's flat. Yeah, this is the one we're trying to, um, to duplicate, okay? And again, the deaths vary a lot, whatever, that's the, the way it is. And so the, uh, the average line helps establish kind of, you know, a trend, I guess. Um, 
So this is since the beginning, since March of last year. So in Tableau, let's let's try to redo this again, which I just did. So I'm gonna do a new sheet. Um, and I'm gonna go a little fast because this really is duplicated like the other one. So I'm gonna uh, double click on cases, double click on date. I'm gonna go to date and change that into a day specifically, not a year, Remember, it's year um, day. We get that line, we're gonna make it into bars in the marks pane. Um, and then uh, we're gonna do the calculation. Under cases, we're gonna do add table calculation. And this must be a very common thing because by default, it does exactly um, what we want, which is every single day, the actual count. Um, and then that's good. Uh, change the color real quick no border remember and then um so it's a little bright and then for size let's do fixed and I, we figured that 0. 0.15 is a good number oh, but maybe it's too too thin Maybe point two. Um, the color now is too light, and then um, if I have to say okay, yeah. Um, remember the spacing wasn't even, so in Illustrator maybe you can fix it later. Um, there was one. Maybe I hope I can find this date that was a little odd. No, never mind. There was a date that became that was like negative. Um, okay, so those are the bars. It's a little light, it's still too light. Now play around. So now we add the line over it. We take the um, cases again, we drag it over until it hits the dotted line. And then um, we change that into a line. And it changed the back, the, the previous one to, to a line. So we should change that to bars right away so we don't get confused. Um, now we go back to the line and do the, now the double calculation. We do the average and then the subtraction. They have to be done in, in the in that sequence. So we go um, average first, which is a moving calculation, moving average. So from that menu, moving calculation. From this menu, not sum, instead average, and then seven days. And nothing happens because we need to still do the subtraction. But here you do the secondary calculation. So, and that automatically gives us the right line, which is still not quite right because it doesn't look like it's averaging looks over, right? And that's because the scales are again off. So we have to make this the same. So we click on that and we say synchronize axis. And now it's correct. And let's hide that. Let's make the line, if I can hear it, there we go, thicker by size, like that. That's it. And now again, let's do one more <laughs> check. So let's check on, uh, I don't know, let's pick a, a peak. And maybe a recent so February 7, 2208. February 7, 2008. So I go to the New York Times, February 7th. Oh, it's showing. I see they're showing 
Wait. Is that the right? Oh. Okay, I made a mistake here, but we can fix it. The mistake was that actually I repeated cases, but I wanted to do deaths. So that's not good. I wanted to recreate this. So, but here's how we can actually fix this quickly without having to do it all over. We can actually edit the code uh, here uh, for both. We have to change cases. We have to put that instead. So we can say edit in shelf somewhere here, edit in shelf. And now I'm just gonna type, I have to be careful because this is code. If you start typing, say it comes up there and the same thing there. That's, and the only thing that happens now is that the, um, the labels get all messed up, but I think I can edit that later. So here we do the same thing. Uh, so now we do uh, editing shelf. What is it? Right here. Editing shelf, and then carefully change that. That's the same thing here. So, oh, I should stop and say that actually that was very good. I mean, I made a big mistake early, but the spot check showed me that I was doing the wrong graph. And, you know, well, anyway, that's a good thing. Always check, right? And, and this was easy because they're both interactive. So it's not like you have to, you know, take a measuring stick or something. There we go. That's the one we wanted. Nice. Okay. So, like a little even darker, but somehow I don't have it darker. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Oh, so I can change the opacity so it's darker. Oh, wrong. Wrong one. The line. First, I have to select there. Say so changes here to line. Um, so, what did I want to do? Yeah, it's already 100. Oh, let's see if what happens if we change a step. Yeah, I see the line is a little bit different. It also shows these little dots, which I don't like. Somehow I got the dots. I don't know what happened there. I can always go back here using the arrow. Let's go back to another version. That's it. Okay, I'll leave it alone. Uh, now I'm going to do a spot check. So I'm going to say February 10th, 5. February. Time five. Okay. Um, 14 day average 3.9. Okay. That would have to be a different table, right? To, uh, to visualize what that is here. We don't have that. I wonder if it's generated it. I don't think so. I say take this and I bring it to label. No, nope. <laughs> never mind. Okay, this is done. Um, and this is number four. Okay, see you for the next one. Bye.